Hi everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this fall themed wall art piece with items purchased from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started with this painting set. I am going to take some heavy duty scissors and cut out this truck print. I loved that it was already black and white and um, it's on like a thick cardboard so it's not really necessarily I mean it's canvas but it's not like a uh, like framed canvas it's just a thick cardboard so I'm going to cut out the truck leaving a little bit of a border and then I'm going to take some of this wired jute cord and put some hot glue along the edges where I cut and start uh, putting the cord along the edges so I really liked that with this wired cord it was very easy to get the curves to kind of stay as you go along and it's also thicker than regular juke cord which is nice because it adds um, just a really nice looking finished border to the picture and then when I got to the end I just put a little bit of hot glue on the back and folded it over and cut it so now this farm fresh sign I am going to cut off the juke cord hangers and then I'm going to take my, uh, oh, sorry, it also had a leaf that I removed also. It just kind of pops out. So now I'm going to take my truck, and you see where it has like the orange and the yellow around? I want to hide that uh, just so I'm keeping everything neutral. So I'm going to take this produce scrub cloth, um, which I loved. It comes with three in a pack, which is a great amount of fabric. And I knew I wanted to use this for some fall DIYs. It was just a really awesome mossy green color, but it also has like almost a little bit of a shimmer to it, but just a really, really awesome um, kind of fabric to use. So I'm going to cut off two corners. I'm using the corners because they already have the edges finished. I'm then going to pinch right in the center. You can see where the center uh, line is there. I'm going to pinch in the center and then pinch one more time on the top and the bottom. And then put a couple dots of hot glue and then squeeze together. I just wanted to give this a rouged effect to make it uh, kind of look more like a leaf. I'll be adding floral to you'll see that in a second. Um, so then I pinched one more time at the top and the bottom held it together to dry and then once both of those were done I turned them over and then those edges I'm just gluing up into the center and now I kind of have the leaf design there. I'm also going to add some hot glue to the bottoms and attach my truck one to the front one to the back of the truck just like that and kind of press down to dry. So now these burlap leaves, you get five to a pack, and I love that you can shape these. I wanted to add some shape to this. You'll see me do that at the end. But I'm going to attach the leaves with some hot glue on the center lines there and just kind of press, press down, make sure it stays nicely. I'm going to take some black and white buffalo check ribbon. This is the only thing not from Dollar Tree. This is from Michaels. I always have this one on hand because I love using it for my projects. Uh, so now I'm going to cut off two little uh, portions of this ribbon and then just glue them together. I will be layering these on the center portion of the greenery there. You'll see that. But then I kind of wanted to play around with some of my florals to kind of really make that pop. So I took a stem of white hydrangeas that I had on hand and then this hot bush. This was in the fall section, and I'm going to remove all of the petals. And um, the hot bush is really cool because you get a lot of petals in the different sizes too. So I'm just removing all those. If you get those little center artificial plastic pieces, you can just toss those. And so now with the longer leaves there on the hot bush. I'm just going to take one of those pieces and cut it in half. It'll give me two leaves there. I cut in half one petal of the white uh, hydrangea there and then glued that to the green leaf. And that's just going to um, put a little bit of 
that white pop in between my two layers of green. And then I glued the buffalo check ribbon also and then cut a straight edge and glued those to the center there. And I just repeated the same thing on the other side. So now I, I want to cover up the sunflower there and any top of the orange pumpkins with the rest of my green petals. I am going to start placing them on the portions that I want to cover up first just to make sure I get everything uh, covered that I want. And I'm not placing the flowers perfectly by any means. I'm just kind of making sure that the petals are, you know, mismatched and just all around the edges there. And then I wanted to add a little bit of white also just to kind of blend in the white floral that I used in the center of the greenery that you just saw me make. So once I added the white in, I am going to put some glue all around the edges of the truck and still going with the glue. <laughs> Still going with the glue. Lots of glue. <laughs> and then I'm going to place that right into the center. And now I'm going to kind of bend up the uh, leaf there. Uh, like I said, the burlap leaves are wired, so it creates a really nice shape to give it a little more volume, a little oomph right there in the center. And here are all of my built up layers. Okay, so this part was so much fun. If you have these DIY stickers, I'll be using the back. And I really wanted to try these furniture polish markers. And here's a sample of what they look like from that row of colors. And the two that I decided on using was the cherry and the oak. So I'm just figuring out the placement of my pumpkins. I'm basically covering up uh, the printed pumpkins with the dimensional pumpkins. So I just figured out my placement and then I am taking um, the oak. I wanted my colors to not be exactly the same so I did uh, like a three and two combo. But I'm going to take the oak and then I basically just colored in the back of the pumpkins. I took the cherry and colored in those pumpkins as well. Now here's the bizarre thing you guys, the cherry was like the least looking red, which is kind of bizarre because it's called cherry, but it's the color I ended up liking and I actually covered the oak with a coat of the cherry on top because the oak looked more red. So anyways, um, Basically what I'm saying is I went with the cherry. <laughs> uh, so then once I had those colored in, I'm just gluing my pumpkins down. And this top there, I'm putting a little bit of the green floral just to make my center pumpkin uh, stand out more. And is that what we're doing? Yep. So now I have my wooden pumpkins in place. And I thought this still needs something and decided that the door of the truck looked a little bare still. So uh, just my preference, I decided to use the ribbon and cut out a cute little heart. I just folded the ribbon over and cut out a heart. And now I wanna put my leaf back, but I'm actually going to be using the back of the leaf now. The back of the leaf is a really pretty, already kind of galvanized material. So I just took the other leaf from the hot bush and that circle, I just slid it right through and then put some glue on the front and the back and just made sure those were attached nicely and that just adds another little dimension. I actually trimmed the uh, little piece that you poke back into the stem of the pumpkin. I trimmed that a little bit so it went in further. And then I actually wanted to leave that stem brown because I really liked how the brown of that stem matched the brown on the wooden pumpkins. And then to replace the hanging handle there, well not handle, the hanging ribbon, I uh, am just going to use my black and white buffalo check ribbon and kind of pinched it together and squeezed it through and then did a, a single knot in itself there to just kind of hold it in place and then cut off the rest like so.
And then one more thing, I was looking at the white there and I actually decided to cut off two more little pieces of the white flower petals and just kind of glue those to the center. And I didn't even use like a full flower, I just cut off one circle and glued those to fill that in a little bit more in the center. And then I was happy and then I loved how it turned out. So here is a final look at how this project came together. And I think adding this with some of these velvet pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and those little white clip pumpkins, the colors together look so beautiful. I really love this kind of like mossy green tone this year for the fall. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!